Hi, Notion productivity fans, it's Simon. Over the last month, Notion released some simple but brilliant updates that will make your Notion second brain or productivity system very happy indeed, and I guess by proxy, you too. The new status column offers welcome and more granular sort and filter functions to manage priorities and workflows. And even newer at the time of making this video is their new side peak view, a welcome way to set up the default viewing format for database pages. In this video, I'm gonna show you some simple ways I'm using the new status columns to update my complete Notion system so that you can too. If you own my productive or complete Notion templates, you can either copy this video and update your own or re-download the template using the original link you were sent on Gumroad. And stick around to the end because I'll take you step by step through how I'm updating my complete system to make the most of the status column. If you're new to the channel and want to know more about my Notion setup, make sure to check out the videos and playlists via the description below. As Brick from Anchorman would say, okay, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Terrible. Notion's addition of a dedicated status column means we no longer have to take so long to build our own from a select column. The new column option works very similarly to a select column. You can only have one option selected, but it also allows you to divide that selection tag, set, whatever you create, further into three areas, a to-do area, a progress area and a complete area. I really like this, although it would be great to rename those. Maybe Notion will offer that soon. There is also a default first option called not started when you first use this that would be added to every new database entry. You can edit this default as you would in any select column. Click through to the settings preferences for the column and here you can add, edit, delete status tags as well as reorder and allocate them to those three stages. So why and how are these new stages useful? Well, for one, they offer grouped filtering really easily. Here's a good example. In my content manager, I have three dashboard views that I filtered of the database. Ideas, live content, and published content. So I'm updating my system now to work with these three areas in this new status feature. Grouping status tags by projects not started or in their research stage. In progress becomes all the tags for writing, filming, editing, and finally, completed covers published content or videos that I might be still invoicing for or promoting. I'm finding the quick filter for this status column really helpful too. I think it would be a great idea to use the feature for organizing and quickly sorting references and notes in your knowledge bank. In mine, perhaps adapting the reading list so that I can organize the snippets of stuff I've gathered using that status feature. The other obvious place to use the status column is in how you manage tasks. Here is a step-by-step -step example of how I'm updating my task manager to utilize these functions in my complete Notion template, including changing a column into a status function and then refiltering the dashboard views to better use this status option. In my system, I have a to-do list here in my action section. This is my dashboard. And if I'm very old, let's just move those forward a minute. That's better. Right, so you'll see I have a to-do list of various days, a weekly board view for everything that's in the current week, which I filtered between Sunday and Saturday, and then a live projects view. So there's two things we're gonna change. First of all, you'll see I have these um, reports that I've created for my system, which are kind of concat formulas reporting on roll-ups from the task list into the project list in the project section. They're gonna change, but also we're gonna change how we tick things off. So currently you'll see here that I have a done column, which basically is where I filter my tasks here. You'll see the three rules where done is not checked. So once I check something, it disappears from the list. Let's undo that. So what we're gonna do is take the done column, we're going to edit the property, and we're going to change it from a checkbox into a status. Now, don't worry, because what's brilliant about Notion, because they've updated it in a clever way, knowing people would make this leap, is you'll see that now that filter has automatically changed for where done is not marked as done. It's automatically updated that. Now, why is that good? Well, first of all, it's good because of this. If we go to edit property, we can now have three options, an in progress, a not started, and a done. And you'll see that the not started is the default column. You could do a traffic light system. So it could be that it's orange waiting to go and green in progress and done is red, whatever you want. But I'm gonna put mine back because I like it like that. 
You can also show it as either a select or a checkbox. So if you just want to jump from not started through to done, you've got that option and it will allow you to filter things later on if you want to. I'm going to keep mine as a select. Now this has done something to my project view. So if I now go to my live projects and look at the filter, we've got where live tasks are equal to zero. That's now actually messed up my live projects. So I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to go into my projects page and click on the system table and I'm going to go and have a look at how I'm measuring tasks. Now, currently the formulas for this have messed up a little bit. My live tasks isn't currently working and that's because done was being calculated on what was checked or unchecked. But now there are different options. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to click on this again just to refresh it. And then I'm going to, rather than show original, click on count completed. And it will result then in a percentage of tasks completed. That now, that means that that's gonna to need to be renamed to be tasks completed. There we go. And then I wanna change these formulas. So I've created a concat formula, which it just reports the number of tasks completed. So first of all, we're gonna change that to say tasks completed. So we get the nice reporting view. Now, because that's now a fraction, so a number out of something uh, completed, it means that this is doesn't make a lot of sense. It works, so my current reporting view will give me everything, but what I used to have was this nice thing where it said, no tasks. And I'm gonna actually change that to say, all tasks completed. It's not gonna show up, and so we're gonna need to find a new formula for how to do this. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna create a new property, and I'm gonna call it, percentage tasks completed. I'm gonna make that a roll up. I'm gonna select into there and click on the little drawing. Select the relation, that's related tasks. Property, we're gonna pick the question mark done, which we should change the name of to status in a minute. And we're going to go percentage of group completed. In this current live tasks, I'm gonna change this. I'm just gonna paste in what I did. So it says, if the percentage task completed is less than 100%, then propose the number of tasks, so the concat live tasks. Otherwise, say all tasks complete, done. And now we get a report for everything that is either empty or everything that is at 100% will say all tasks complete. Everything else will report like that. So we should now have a report. If we go back, the live projects have come back they're reporting more clearly. And what's great is it's automatically updated and deleted the rule because it's now a different figure that goes in there and we're good to go. Now, the other thing I wanna update using the status system is I wanna go into my projects and here I have a status. So I'm gonna click in here and edit this property and have a little look. We've got live content channel, back burner and archived. I wanna just change this from a select and also turn it into a status column. Move completed and archive down to the complete section as well as back burner because there's things I don't want to see. I'm going to get rid of done and I'm going to get rid of in progress. Now you could use this if you wanted to, but this is more just to define things. And what I'm going to do here is place content channels and live things in progress. And then I'm just going to have a not started in to do. Now, what that means is I can now just filter by status in that system if I want to. I can now go back to the task list, open it up, go to that live projects view that's in the, my complete notion, and I can just add a filter here so that the projects are filtered by status and that it's only in progress projects that show up there. Save that for everyone and it keeps it nice and clean. And if you just want that view of live projects to be one which only has one where there are tasks to do, I'm going to add another filter here and I'm gonna set select where current live tasks does not contain the word all. There you go, look at that, save that and we're good to go. And you can watch this video next for the best ways to manage your to-do lists and projects in Notion. And for more great tech and ideas to simplify productivity and creative life, make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.